Hello, darling. How are you? I, um, for all of you that think that there's nobody out there for you, please, please, please drop that in the nearest trash can and realize that no matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, you have somebody out there that's waiting for just you. Um, I met my current husband at uh, 49 years old, wearing seven tattoos, um, short hair, all the things that they say you're not supposed to do, demanding that I did not want any young kids. Um, I didn't want to drive more than an hour away. <laughs> I had all sorts of detail. And um, you know what? It's, it's totally possible. I actually met my husband on Match.com, and I had been on there before. I had been on once about two years prior and had had 17, 18 dates. Ended up dating a guy for about, I don't know, 13, 14 months, and realized he wasn't for me. Very nice guy, you know, but just wasn't what I was looking for. So we split up, and I ended up moving to Chicago. And when I did, I switched my... Um, address, you know, and match.com to there, had another 18 date, and was just about ready to get up. I was like, you know, I'm tired of messing with this. I was tired of going out with guys who couldn't even be, be bothered to put on a decent pair of slacks, you know, for a first date, or they didn't show up, or um, they were only interested in one thing, <laughs> hint, hint. Um, <laughs> and um, I literally went upstairs and thought, I'm going to sign off match.com. I've had it. I'm done. And Got up there and looked at this category that said, you know, somebody who's looked at your profile. And I looked and I saw this guy and I went, whoa, wow, I like what he has to say. So I went over, looked at his profile, and thought, ooh, nice. <laughs> and I, I love people who are well read. I love people that speak well. So I was really interested, but he wasn't tall enough. I had decided I wanted somebody at least six foot one. Or higher because I'm five foot nine and I'm a big girl so I didn't want me no tiny little guy and so I wasn't going to write him and my girlfriend said are you out of your mind look at his profile look at that smile I thought okay fine so I wrote him a note he wrote right back I had company so I said I talked to him on the weekend called him on the weekend and we talked for seven hours on the first day and then, let's see, we talked for seven hours. He invited me out on a date. I wasn't really interested in going on a date with him because I was very, very self-conscious about what I look like. I'm too fat. I'm too tall. I'm too old. You know, all these two something. And he said, good Lord, what's a guy got to do to get a date with you? And I thought, okay, I'll go. And we've been together ever since. He asked me to marry him 24 hours after we met. And we got married a year and a half later. And we've had some real challenges because I've had some real health problems. And he's, he's had a tough time. And he's an amazing man. Um, I feel very blessed. This is my third husband. And um, I wasn't ever going to get married again. <laughs> I'm just going to go out and have some good time. Yeah, I would say that the desperate piece is what's going to cause a challenge. Um, I used to say when I was young, many years ago, um, that I could go out dancing. And I wouldn't care if anybody danced with me or not. Everybody danced. But if I went out and I was looking for somebody, nobody wanted to dance with me. Nobody wanted to be with me. And there is that feel of desperation. And I think one of the biggest things that I could say is, when you are comfortable with you as a person, then it's it's your choice, and you get to have fun being with somebody else. But understand that there is somebody there for you, and the desperation is not going to make it easier. I 
I'm a coach and consultant who specializes in helping small business owners deal with all the stuff that comes from being a small business owner, things like how do you deal with business stuff and how do you deal with tech stuff so that people like coaches and speakers and authors can go out and do what they do best, coach and speak and author, and not have to deal with all the business cred that comes along with it. Um, I would love to see you on Facebook. I am Mama Red on Facebook, M-A-M-A-R-E-D. Look me up. I'd love to hear from you. And I'm just in the midst of building a new website right now, so that will be mamared.biz, but it's ugly right now. Don't go there. And uh, if you want to write me an email, I'd love to hear from you. It's mamared, M-A-M-A-R-E-D, at mamaredspeaks.net. Thanks. Have an awesome one. Bye-bye.